Hey guys, welcome to the clubhouse. I'm Billy Jackson. This is my cat Tack. And today we're going to be reviewing my number eight pick on my top ten fantasy list, and that is the 1981 classic Dragon Slayer. I love this movie. Um, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, I'd say it's in my top 20. And that's a bold statement for me because I love hundreds of movies. Um, but this was my first dragon film that I ever saw um, when I was young and it traumatized me. I mean, the scene where they're down in the cave and, you know, the girl's getting her foot eaten off by the little baby dragons, that scene still to this day can give me nightmares. Because um, I, I recently watched this film and just to make sure that it was still, you know, there for me and it is. It still holds up to today. Um, you know, some of the green screen effects may be a little off, but the animatronics and uh, the special effects and the puppetry in this movie is still on point and still holds up today. Um, I mean, I would, I would even challenge it to Jurassic Park um, standards, but that's just my opinion. <clears throat> Definitely give this movie a try. If you have not seen it, not a lot of people have because it kind of flew under the radar for everyone, you know, because I've asked a lot of people about this movie and they don't even know what I'm talking about. And I'm just surprised because I watch this movie, you know, every few years, you know, just to keep my mind fresh with it because it is such a great story and a great, you know, just action film with dragons, you know, or a dragon and little baby dragons, you know, at the end. But you know, it's basically about a town that has a lottery, you know, and the lottery is rigged um, so the queen can't, you know, be chosen. So it ends up that the queen wants to be chosen just because of that fact. You know, she finds out that, you know, her name is not in the lottery. So she puts all, all the lottery chips in, in the lottery are her name. So she gets picked and the king has a big to-do about it and, you know, they try to hire this uh, uh, wizard to take care of the dragon so they can't sac you know, so it can't kill her. Um, you know, but he, you know, bites the big one and it's up to his apprentice to become the dragon slayer and defeat this dragon. And it has one of my favorite scenes in film, at least for monster movies, I'll say that. One of my favorite scenes. And that's when the wizard comes back and he gets up on the mountaintop and he's conjuring up the storm, you know, because he's going to fight the dragon with like a lightning storm. Um, how cool is that? You know, so he summons the storm up, you know, and gets all the clouds and then it gets real quiet and they don't even know where the dragon is, you know. So they're looking around and it's real quiet and his eyes get real white and start glowing. And next thing you know, rah! this fire just comes down right on him, you know, but he's impenetrable. You know, the, the fire doesn't even phase him, so he just stands there and the dragon gets pissed and flies off. I just love that scene. And when I just did that just now, my cats went, shoom. <laughs> they scattered. I scared them. I don't know. I hope I didn't scare you, but I just wanted to make it clear how it's real quiet. And then, boom, it's in your face. You know, but I, that's what I love. It was my first jump scare, I think, um, you know, as a young kid. Because I saw this movie when I was like 10. And loved it ever since. And watch it every few years ever since then. So I've seen this movie about 50 some times. Not that many, but you understand. I over-exaggerate. But anyway, love the movie. Definitely check it out if you like dragon films and monster movies and just a good popcorn flick. It's really short. It's really quick. Um, good story. You'll love Dragon Slayer, and I hope you loved it as much as I have. And saying that, have you seen Dragon Slayer? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. And as always, make yourself happy every day. And the only way to do that is to remember, the only thing stopping you is you stopping.